Hello everyone, I'm doing a quick video about how to get a Lenovo IdeaPad 530S 14ARR laptop working with Linux, and specifically Linux Mint 19.1. Now this is a laptop which is 14 inch, fairly lightweight. The important thing about it is that it has a AMD Ryzen 2700U APU, as AMD calls it, as the processor. And so it works pretty much out of the box with Ubuntu 18.10, but that's because Ubuntu have done some custom things and implemented some out of tree drivers in it. And so you've got to do a little bit more work with Linux Mint. First thing with anything like this, turn it on and jump into the BIOS. And you will see that we have um, a couple of boot options that you need to change. First one is legacy support. You need to switch it from UEFI to legacy support. Then the second one is legacy first. Switch from UEFI first to legacy first. This basically unlocks it so that Windows isn't the only operating system that can be installed. Next one is um, USB, sorry, Next one is the boot order of the devices. The SATA hard drive is the one built into the laptop. You want to boot from the USB device that you have put your installation onto, and I'm not going to, to go into the details of how to make Linux installation media. Suffice it to say, go down to the one that you want, which is your USB drive, and F6 to move it to the top, F10 to save changes, and it will now boot into your installation media. Now, because Linux Mint 19.1 ships a little bit older kernel, you want to catch it as soon as it starts to boot and switch to a different boot mode. Otherwise, it will just hang with the black screen. So, start in compatibility mode and it will boot properly. And here we go. It's fully started up, and at this point you would want to install Linux Mint using the Install Linux Mint option. One thing that you're going to need is right now the trackpad does not work, so you need to use a mouse plugged into one of the USB ports. I already have Linux installed on here, so I'm going to reboot and go to my existing installation to show you the rest of the things you need to do to get the rest of the hardware working. So this is what you should see after you have successfully installed Linux Mint. Now you're still going to have to force it to boot into um, compatibility mode until you do the second step of the hardware enablement process. Now I didn't want to wipe out my installation just after I got it working, so I have instead made a document with all of the commands you need in it. This is going to be in the video description. Let's make it a little bit larger so you can see it if you need to read it from here. Okay, so the first thing that is not working is your Wi-Fi. That is a fairly common thing. The command you need to run is this one here, echo blacklist idea laptop, sudo t etsy um, mob probe. Uh, did I type that incorrectly? Anyway, this will be correct in the video description. And once you do that, reboot and you should have Wi-Fi working so you can download new things like kernel and driver. Second thing that is not working is graphics. Right now, you are running in software mode, not hardware accelerated mode. The reason for this is that Linux Mint ships the 4.15 kernel, and I believe that support for the CPU and GPU that run in this laptop were added in 4.17 plus minus one kernel. I don't remember exactly. Anyway, you're going to need to, I'm not going to put all of the commands in here, here is a very good article which will show you how to upgrade the Linux kernel. I upgraded to 
I upgraded my kernel to version 5.0, but if you're a little bit more conservative, you'll probably want to stick with 4.18 since that's the current long-term support kernel. Once you do that, reboot and you will no longer have to select compatibility mode. Everything will just work when you boot the laptop up. The third thing which is not working right now for you is the trackpad. You're having to use a USB mouse to plug in. That will work in Ubuntu because um, Ubuntu has included some out of tree driver modules which have not yet been merged into the Linux kernel. Those are available in a GitHub repo. I have the GitHub repo link here and then a series of things you will not have get installed by default, so you're going to have to do that. Then you're going to have to clone the repo, move to the drive where all of the code from the repo was put, and then run this install script, reboot one more time, and your trackpad will start working. After that, as far as I know, everything works. I have not tested USB-C and I have not tested VGA graphics but I have tested the webcam, the keyboard, and the function keys, and all of them work. Credit goes to this thread on Reddit. I will put the link to that in there as well. And I hope that your laptop works well for you. Thank you.